Hello Earthlings. I have been summoned from the depths of hell to be with you today. Let me tell you a story about five small beans called the Easy Beats. Except for Harry. He is not a small bean have you seen how fucking tall he is. Anyways let's get started. So basically the Easy Beats were five musical lads from England, Scotland and the Netherlands, who met up by chance in 1964 after immigrating to Sydney, and formed the Starfighters. Luckily the name that Harry brought over from his band in Holland was tossed aside, and they became the Easy Beats. Thanks Snowy. The Villawood Migrant Hostel is the legendary place where it all began. They all met due to a range of circumstances and formed the Easy Beats. It was not as simple as that but I can't be fucked explaining the whole thing. They were soon signed to Albert Productions thanks to their manager Mike Vaughan, and released their first single in 1965. You may know them as the band who did Friday on my mind, but they are so much more than that. They are musical legends who changed the Aussie music industry forever. To those who say the Easy Beats are not Australian, fuck you. George Young said himself that they were an Aussie band so your argument is invalid. Also, observe. Now let's talk about the members of the band. First up is lead singer Stevie Wright, also known as Little Stevie because he's little and his name is Stevie. His real name is Stephen Carlton Wright but don't call him that it sounds like you're his mother about to tell him off. Anyways. Stevie is from England but he moved to Australia when he was a child. By 1964 he had moved out of the hostel and was living round the corner. Stevie met the guys at Villawood when he found out that Harry had a real band back in Holland and was all like that's so cool mate. I'm a singer come and jam with me. I have a band already but I don't even like them anyway. That's basically how it all started. He is literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. Like what the fuck even is this I want to die. Stevie's voice is so bloody fabulous. Like listen to this. And it gets stronger everywhere. And it gets bigger, baby. Like I said. And it gets stronger in every way. He also had amazing stage presence and had them dancing skills. Even though he often looked like he was having a seizure. Seriously, mate, are you okay? Sometimes I get a little bit concerned but look at him go. That spin is everything. Everybody knows that Bon Scott stole his moves from Stevie let's be real. He also looks really good with a beard but he kinda looks like Jesus. Just saying. Stevie was the most popular with the ladies. Seriously I am not fucking kidding. The amount of fan mail this bitch got. Girl same. After the Easy Beats broke up in 1969 he went on to release two solo albums with the help of Georgia Young and Harry Vander. The first album included the three-part masterpiece called Evie which was written by Vander and Young. This song is actually my life source. Also this little reunion was everything. Also let's not forget about this reunion too. In the 70s Stevie became a heroin addict which basically destroyed his entire career, but guess what? We don't talk about that. Sadly Stevie Wright passed away in 2015 from pneumonia at the age of 68. Next is lead guitarist Harry Vander. Also known by his real name Johannes Hendrikus Jacob Van Denberg. Fuck, no wonder he made a stage name. Also I'm a robot and can't pronounce Dutch names to save my life, so don't go by how I just pronounced it. Harry came to Australia from Holland in 1964 and was still living at the Villawood Migrant Hostel when the band started. It all started in the Villawood Laundry when Harry met Ick Diamond, a fellow Dutch guy, and they started jamming together. Soon Stevie tagged along and then George and Snowy and the rest is history. Harry's guitar playing is legendary. Watch this. Wow, I'm shaking. Also Harry's voice is sent from the heavens. To be completely honest his voice is my favorite out of all of the easy beats and I could listen to it all day. Just listen to this. Pretty girl, walks up and down the street. Pretty girl, kind of girl I like to me. She don't even know my name. Shame.
Holy fuck what a talented bitch. Harry is the tallest member of the Easy Beats and stands out because of his majestic blonde hair. Oh and did I mention this bitch can fly what the fuck how did he even get up there? After the Easy Beats broke up Harry and George Young became an unstoppable songwriting and producing duo. They nurtured the careers of many Aussie artists including JPY, Rose Tattoo and many more. Vander and Young also started a side project called Flash and the Pan, which turned out to be more successful than they had planned it to be. Flash and the Pan released a number of hits accompanied by some really weird and wonderful music videos that I love so much and can't stop watching. I will talk more about their solo projects a bit later. Next is rhythm and guitarist George Young. Fun fact he is my favorite member of the Easy Beats. His full name is George Redburn Young. By the way what a fucking cool middle name. George doesn't really have any nicknames. You can call him Georgie if you want but I advise against it. George is from Scotland but he came to Australia with his massive family back in 1964. George met the guys when he was at Villawood and bumped into Stevie who was probably checking out some chicks or something, and Stevie thought that his brother was a bloke he had a fight with. George was all like nah mate that ain't my bro. And that's how it all began. He has a fuckload of siblings including these two little shits you may know as Angus and Malcolm from ACDC. I also love these cutie pies with all of my cold dead heart. George's rhythm guitar skills and ability to write songs for the band made the EC Beats extra amazing. Also he had the cutest little Scottish accent ever. Just listen to this. We'd just like to give them this chance. I got talent. Yeah, no. Can you sign me up? <laughs> we sang. Holy shit I just melted like the witch of the west. Oh and did I mention, on top of being an extremely talented guitarist, songwriter and producer, he could basically play every single instrument on the face of this planet. Seriously is there anything this bitch couldn't do? Another project George and Harry did after the Easy Beats was the Marcus Hilk Roll Band, who released one album which I 100% recommend. I should also mention the four year binge which was a period of time in the 70s where they basically went on a writing spree and turned out a heap of hits. Speaking of Vander and Young hits, you know this song? Love is in the air, everywhere I look around. That was them. You know this song? That was them too. Sadly George Young passed away in 2017 at the age of 70. Next is drummer Snowy Fleet, also known by his real name Gordon Fleet. According to legend Snowy got his nickname from his curly jet black hair. Honestly I can't see how that happened but okay. Anyway, Snowy was from Liverpool and came to Australia around the same time as George and Harry. Unlike the others he was at East Hills Migrant Hostel. Snowy joined the band when Stevie was told about a drummer who'd just come over to Australia, and Dick went and left a note under his door saying something along the lines of, Heard you were a drummer. You must be good because you are from Liverpool. Give me a ring mate. So yeah. Snowy obviously called him. He was quite a bit older than the rest of the band, and was already married with a child but they didn't care. Now they had a full band. Snowy was an amazing drummer and his solid rhythms really made the Easy Beats sound. After he left the Easy Beats in 1967, Snowy retired from the drums to spend more time with his family which is more important. The last time I checked he now has a successful construction business. Good for him. Or should I say, Goey Snowy. Goey Snowy. Next is bassist Dick Diamond. His real name is Dinchman Adrian Henry van der Sluwiges, and like Harry, he was originally from the Netherlands. And once again I apologize I can't pronounce Dutch names. Like it all. Dick came to Australia when he was four years old and lived near the migrant hostel in Villawood. He met the guys because his father was working at the hostel at the time, and he was hanging around when he met Harry and they started jamming, and the rest is history. He was raised in a Jehovah's Witness family, who was against his rock and roll famous people looked up to him which was against their beliefs. Dick Diamond is a very underrated bass player and I think he deserves more recognition for his style and talent. He comes off very shy due to the fact that in interviews he didn't really talk much, and on stage he didn't really move much. His time to shine in concerts was saying the line come and see her during the song of that name. Come and see her. Come and see her. 
I have a really bad idea. I am gonna try and replicate it just for you. Come and see her. Mistakes have been made that was not my brightest moment. Anyways. These days Dick is retired in New South Wales and although his professional music career was rather brief he is considered a Aussie legend from his time in and contribution to the Easy Beats. Oh and I almost forgot. This is Tony Cahill. Tony was the Easy Beats drummer for the rest of their career after Snowy left. He was a bloody good drummer and legend says he was a nice bloke. He was the only Australian born member of the Easy Beats, and before he joined the band he was a member of the Purple Hearts. After the Easy Beats broke up, Tony taught himself how to play bass and never played the drums again. What a fucking plot twist. Sadly, Tony died in 2014 at the age of 72. Looks like my work here is done. This was just a brief overview and I recommend doing some more research if you wanna know more about this incredible Aussie band. If you actually watched this far, I hope this has been a little bit entertaining and I hope that I've succeeded in my plan of making you an Easy Beats fan if you weren't already. Probably only 10 people are going to watch this but oh well. Goodbye Earthlings and thank you for watching.